everyone, what's going on? Joey here on a very, very windy and cold beach day because the bulkhead behind me is getting ready to be set in the sand right in front of the North Wildwood Lifeguard Station. And I figured, let me go over this project with you. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. A special thank you out to my patrons on patreon.com. It's because of them I get to brave the cold for you guys and give you the news. If you wanna go ahead and support this channel, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. Anyway, let's get started. Let's explain how we got to this point. You see, in the fall of 2022, we had some major storms here in the Wildwoods, actually off the coast of the Atlantic. We had a couple of hurricanes that kind of sat off that created this crazy, crazy swell that ripped off most of the dunes. And as you know, we have a lot of issues with losing our beach in the off season. But this time it took most of the dune that was in front of the lifeguard station. So in October, the city applied to the New Jersey DEP and said, hey, look, we want to put a bulkhead in here. We lost most of the girth in this dune system, and we're wary that's going to cause some kind of issue, meaning flooding, on the hotels and houses on the other side. Well, New Jersey said, no, you're not doing that. And then the city went, well, if, if we don't do something soon, this bulkhead is going to be gone with all the storms, and it will damage everything. You're talking about parts of the boardwalk, You've got hotels, you've got houses, all this could be destroyed. So they're moving forward and they're saying to them, hey, look, we'll see you in corporate right now. We got to protect everything we have here in North Wildwood. And so, as you know, they're fighting in court and there's counter suits where it looks like North Wildwood is suing the state for $20 million. In the meanwhile, <laughs> they still need to fix all the flooding issues that we're going to have. So. That's what's behind me right now. These are the massive, like almost 30 feet of bulkhead that's going to be laid in front of the lifeguard station. It's going to cost $800,000 to do this. And the most important thing to understand is this is just the beginning. If the way things have been going with all these storms and the way the water has been coming up, the city of North Wildwood said we might have to extend this little section to be a thousand feet all the way down to Maury's Pier, which is the first pier, we're talking about Surfside Pier. Right now, this is the situation we're at, and they're just about to install this bulkhead. In order to get ready for this bulkhead, a few things had to happen. First was they had to put something in place so that if this dune were to completely fail, they would have some kind of protection. So they have these concrete slabs here. These, of course, will be removed for the summertime. The bulkhead's gonna run right in front. And as you look around, you can see some flags. I don't know if you could zoom in on them, but there's some flags in the background showing how it's going around the lifeguard station. Now, the lifeguard station itself is going through a little bit of a remodel. You can see the original deck in the front has been completely ripped down. I'm, I don't know if that had anything to do with the bulkhead, but I'm assuming it's probably something they had to fix anyway. Looking at the dune behind us, it doesn't look too bad from this angle. It's once you get on the other side of the beach, you notice that most of it is gone. For those who haven't seen how they build bulkheads, it's quite interesting. You see, you can see how long pieces they are. They slide into each other. So this is how they come shipped one piece like that then crews have to put them together you can see these little joints in here and they slide them down to create one giant piece like this then they grab a crane like that guy over here they stand it up and the very end of it has a vibrating tip which essentially like shimmies it all the way down then once they get one piece in they get another piece like this one and then slide it down here so that it's always connected and they'll continue doing that around here, across there, and then in front of the lifeguard station. And you can see how they marked out where it's going. This is bulkhead right on here. Bulkhead 53. And we'll go down this way. That number 53 actually goes with the number that is sitting on the bulkheads because they put numbers on them. I'll show you in a second if we walk over there. You can see this one is... 145 over here you've got 85 so on and so forth so this lets them know where it's going how it's going to go there pretty neat this one's just 35 feet right on it pretty cool we are making our way onto the beach so that you can see how bad the erosion is right now and you'll notice it quickly drops down the city did do a good job of trying to like even it out but 
Look at that drop. It'll take another like one or two storms for this whole thing to be ripped down and then you have a bigger, bigger problem. And you can see that's where the crane is. So you can notice that's not, there's really not much feet left. And it went past the middle point of it, meaning that like the highest point used to be actually where we're standing right about here. So imagine like a curve like this. Obviously you want the water over here to not knock down, but if this was the middle, we're about here now, which means that a couple more storms, I mean, you knock down this section, this whole thing's coming down. Construction on this will start extremely soon. The faster they can build this bulkhead, the better, because as those who know, in the springtime, we get a lot of storms over here. So they need to get that thing built to protect not only the lifeguard station, but also the businesses and houses behind it. Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joe, and as always, I'll see you on the beach. See you later. Bye.